Hello students, welcome back. The question is from GATE 2006 exam. This one is for two marks. So let's just read the statement, then I'll provide you the solution. Consider the circuit and diagram. This operator represents XOR. The D flip-flops are initialized to zeros, that is, they are cleared. The following data is supplied to the data terminal in nine clock cycles. After that, the values of Q2, Q1, Q0 are. Okay, you can see they have given you a counter and they're asking after ninth clock cycle, what will be the state of counter? What will be the value of Q2, Q1 and Q0? So what are we doing here? We are applying these data bits in this input called data. So first bit is applied. That is, we apply a one in the input and a clock cycle is given. This circuit will react accordingly. That means this one is consumed. Okay. So this one is consumed. Next, we apply the second bit. Okay. We apply a zero and second clock cycle is given. So this zero is also consumed. Then we apply third bit and so on. What will happen after we have done with the ninth bit and we have given the ninth clock? Okay. This is the question. So let's just begin it. See, now we have applied the first bit and we are ready to give the clock. Let's see what will happen just before the clock cycle. This input is one. Will the flip-flop react? No, it won't react until a clock is received. Okay. The initial state is given as this is zero. This is also zero. This is also zero. So I've written zero, zero, zero as the values of Q0, Q1 and Q2. Okay. Now this is a XOR gate. Its input is zero and zero. Q0 and Q2. Okay. Both of these values are zero, zero. Zero XOR zero will be zero. Okay. So we have applied a zero here. Will this flip flop react? No, it won't react until a clock is given. Now suppose we give the first clock cycle. What will happen? This one will be transferred here. Okay. This one is consumed and it is transferred here. Okay. Now one will remain here until next clock cycle is given. Okay. So this flip flop will maintain this output as it is until next clock cycle. Okay. This input D is zero. That zero will be transferred here. Okay. So this zero is transferred here and this zero is transferred here. Okay. That means these, uh, all of these remain as it is. See, this zero goes here, this zero comes here. Now let's see what is the output of XOR gate. Q1 is one, Q2 is zero. One XOR zero is one. So this value will change. Okay. This value becomes one, but this flip-flop, it won't react until the clock cycle is given. Okay. Now let's set the second input and give the second clock cycle. This input bit is applied and we are ready to give the second clock cycle. Let's say I've given the second clock. This bit, whatever is this input will go here. So it becomes zero. Similarly, this zero will go here. Okay. Whatever is the current value, current value of Q1 is zero. It will go here and this input will overwrite Q1. Okay. So this becomes one. Now this is zero. This is zero. Zero XOR zero will be zero. Okay. So similarly, you can see what happens after the third clock cycle, fourth clock cycle and so on. Let us fill this table. See whatever data you have applied. During first clock cycle, we applied one. That one was the output Q0. Okay. During second clock cycle, we have applied zero. That zero reached here. That means zero got consumed. Now we are going to apply the third clock cycle. This is zero. So that zero will reach here. That means that zero will also be consumed. So whatever is the data input will be the output Q0 after applying the clock cycle. So we said data is equal to one and clock is given. This one reaches Q0 as it is. Okay. Then next, it will be zero. This one will be zero. One, one, zero, 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 zero. Okay. Whatever is this data, 
after giving that specific lock number q not will be that bit only okay if it's 1 u not will be 1 if it's 0 q not will be 0 now let us see what is this output q2 current value of q1 is the next value of q2 okay initially before giving the first clock cycle q1 is 0 when we apply the clock that zero got transferred here okay so this value comes as the next value of q2 so i'm writing this value here initially they have given all of the uh, outputs that is q0 q1 q2 they are zero so this value is transferred here okay and what about q1 what is this value of q1 the current value of q0 and current value of q2 are xored and given as this input whenever a clock cycle is given this input comes as output q1 okay so this input is q0 xor q2 current values of q2 and q0 are xored so before giving the first clock what is current value of q2 and q0 it is 0 and 0 sorry q0 and q2 q0 and q2 yeah 0 xor 0 is 0 this value will be q1's next value so whenever we gave the first clock cycle these two values will be xor and it will be the output q1 so 0 xor 0 is 0 okay so this is the state next you can see when we gave the second clock this value is applied that goes as q0 the previous value of q1 goes into q2 and these two are xor which goes into q1 so 1 xor 0 is 1 okay now when we apply the third clock this input goes into q0 this value of q1 the current value that means just before applying clock current value is 1 this goes at the next state of q2 that means this output is 1 after applying clock it will reach here okay so this one is copied here and 0 xor 0 is 0 okay now i am just filling the table quickly this value goes here 0 xor 1 is 1 this value goes here 1 xor 0 is 1 this value again goes here 1 xor 1 is 0 this 0 goes here 0 xor sorry 1 xor 0 is 1 this one goes here 0 xor 0 is 0 this value goes here 1 xor 0 is 1 so you can see value of q2 is sorry q2 q1 q0 they were asking what is q2 q1 q0 it is 0 1 0 i hope you understood the question okay